This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Well, today's video is not a happy one. On Friday, I was out checking my hives, doing varroa treatments uh, and such like, and I found this hive with AFB in it. I didn't bother to send it away to get it tested, checked, whatever. I knew what it was. I'm convinced that it's got AFB, so that's it. I've killed the bees. So, what I've done, this hive, two boxes high, chock-a-block full of honey, chock-a-block full of bees, brood, uh, except of course that it had American fowl brood. And under New Zealand rules and regulations, there is only one treatment for fowl brood, and that's a match. And so that's what we're here for today. So everything here is going to get burnt, except my hive tool. Gloves will get burnt too shortly. But first off, I'm going to show you and talk to you about a couple of things. First off, we're in fire danger area, or fire danger zone, restricted um, having a fire. So I have rung the local fire officer and I have my fire permit. I have a phone number that I have to ring just before we set the fire so I will do that part way through the video once we set up. But I'm going to show you it now. So when I found the AFB first thing I've done is I wrote on it AFB so I know that this hive is the one and no other one in the apiary. I'll keep that apiary quarantined. Next I carry carbaryl powder with me and I split the box in half and I put a half a spoonful of carbaryl on this box and half a spoonful of carbaryl on that, close it up and close the little entrance up so no bees could get either in or out. I have been assured by the powers that be that the chance of field bees that are returning to the hive uh, actually spreading that fowl brood is pretty limited. So I'll take their word on that, but the hive will, the, that site will be quarantined for the next two years. So we get to the site where we are. And so we'll just swing the camera around a little. First off, I have a 44 gallon drum which I have removed both ends, so it's effectively a chimney. A whole box will fit in there, but I'm not going to put a whole box in. It'll go in component at a time. I have dug a hole here that is 300 deep, and the uh, chimney furnace will sit over the top here, and then I've got a, a track cut through here where the a fire can draw the air out through here and up through the stack. Got a bit of newspaper and some kindling in my fire lighter. And just over here, I got a bucket of water that hopefully is gonna control things if it gets out of hand. But the fire service are gonna know about it. We had rain overnight, so the ground's reasonably damp, so we're okay there. So a little bit of paper and a few sticks out of my shed. Got my fire lighter. And I'll open the container up, ready to go. Okay, so first thing is let's get the fire started. That'll do that. Put the chimney on. You can see how quickly that fire is drawing down.
Look at that. Beautiful frames of honey. Frames with brood on. This is American fell brood. See it roping out? That's why this is getting burnt. Ooh. Time to get a bit of smoke. Doesn't this make you cry? All these bees, all this work, frames of brood, frames of honey, all gets cooked. Look what we've done. We have all these bees, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of bees, and now all dead. I put a spoonful of, a half a dessert spoonful of carbaryl on this box, half a spoonful on that box, and within 10 minutes, a <coughs> quarter of an hour, everything's dead. No bees can get in and rob because all the dead bees block all the entrances up and everything else and that's it. So now it's just now a matter of waiting for the fire to burn itself through but these boxes, the floor, queen excluder, the lid will all go on the fire. But the fire is now starting to get a good head of steam on it. And that'll take half an hour and it will be burned away. Everything in a beehive will burn. The honey burns, the wax burns, the brood burns, the dead bees burn, all the woodwork. It's a firebomb waiting to happen. I used to kill the bees if needed with petrol. Put a half a cup of petrol in the top of the hive bees all die but they make a horrendous noise when they when you do that this way we're putting carbon powder in insecticide powder there's no noise the bees just just die they don't try and run out of the hive they just die instantly but it's starting to get a bit warm just here so I'm gonna step back from the fire and uh, we'll shut the video off and let things go Look down here, and you can see the honey that's leaking out of the frames and out of the hive, and that's all melting down. And that's part of the reason why we dug that hole 300 deep, so that we can bury the, all that wax and honey that, uh, that doesn't actually get burnt, so that no other bees can actually get at anything there. So the queen excluder. Queen excluder is in there now, doing its cook up. Go, uh, and if you have a look, 
there's absolutely no smoke, almost zero smoke coming from this. Because of the chimney effect, the heat that's there is just so intense, it burns everything without getting any smoke. The only thing is, when we do put the, the base in, that will smoke because we're cooking plastic then. So we've been going now for almost a quarter of an hour and those whole two boxes are done. We've just got um, the base and the lid to, to do and that's it. Okay so got one more item to go, the base is in there now, it's burning away and as you can see that fire is so hot, hot there's still almost no smoke with that. A little bit of blackness to it now but very very little. That's the beauty of using the chimney effect. So the last thing we can do now is we will cook the lid. Oh, that's hot around here. We will still be able to use the lid afterwards once it's come out of the fire. There won't be any galvanizing on it, but I will be able to paint it and recycle it. That's the only thing that I will get to reuse out of here. The queen excluder is beggared because of the heat. All the wires will distort, uh, so that'll get thrown in the bin. But everything else uh, is finished. So we've got another 10 minutes, and then that'll be it. Okay, well that's just about it. We've done three quarters of an hour now, exactly from the time we set the fire going. Everything's burnt down. There's still a little bit of embers burning. Probably take another quarter of an hour for that to quieten down. As you can see, I don't think we'll get to reuse the queen excluder and we're certainly not going to get much use out of the lid. So, unfortunately, if you have to do what I've just had to do, this is the best method of doing it. It's the only cure for AFB and as you saw on the video, I proved that this hive did have AFB. Alright, we've got the cows serenading us. Hello, someone's, someone's coming to see the cows, so I guess uh, they're saying hello. So anyway, that's it from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully next time we see you, we're not around the fire, but we're in the beehive. Thanks for watching.